it was from the beginning when I re-entered the Bitcoin space in 2017 uh, with the uh, finding that uh, it really is a tool to empower um, all people. Mm -hmm. And especially those who are disempowered. So from then on, uh, I always had this focus on human rights. And um, from my learnings from Andreas Antonopoulos especially, especially, I realized that it's really much more important uh, to educate people in the global south about Bitcoin than here in, in Europe. Because in Austria, where I lived um, I was experiencing always this, uh, yeah, so why do I need it, you know? I mean, I, I yeah. have a bank account. Um, my uh, currency works decently enough, you know? Um, I mean, not talking about inflation. Um, <clears throat> so I felt um, the idea that Bitcoin is just a tool for speculation and an investment rather boring. And I realized um, that, I mean, I didn't realize that the world is not fair through Bitcoin. I realized that much early on. And I thought I could contribute um, a good part to better that, yeah, to change it. I mean, hmm, we all strive to change the world, to, to make it a little bit better. And I found yeah. also my, my ikigai in Bitcoin. Yeah, I always was looking for what is really the topic uh, that I want to, um, my mission in a way in, in life to, to do something good for the world also and not only consume, you know. Hello, my name is Anita Posch and if you liked that video, please subscribe to my channel now to inspire me to create more content like this. And if you want to learn more about Bitcoin, then sign up for my free weekly Bitcoin newsletter at anita.link news.